Hey everyone, today I'm going to share you the interview process for clinical SAS programmer. So this video will be either you can consider as an interview process or interview pattern. The very first round that will happen, that will be screening round. What will happen in the screening round? You will get a call from HR and they will confirm the basic details like your educational background and whatever you have mentioned that is correct or not. And this is the first phase of screening, okay? There can be second round as well. In the second round, you might have to solve aptitude or reasoning or some technical questions. There can be a set of 20, 30 questions and you have to solve it. It can be MCQ based or either it can be scenario based. So in the screening, the very first can be the confirmation from HR. The very second can be the aptitude reasoning and technical questions. Now let's move to the second round that will be technical in the technical round again there can be two phases okay and whatever i am telling this can differ companies to companies in the first technical round the manager or seniors will be present they might ask you a bunch of questions okay from base as to advanced as to clinical as and they'll ask your introduction as well or any questions okay on top of that once you complete this round okay and once you got selected you will move to second phase of technical round okay here in the second technical round, they can ask you more practical questions or scenario based questions. They can try to understand you more, okay? Like how much overall knowledge you are having for the technical part, for the domain part, for the clinical part, each and everything. In short, they'll try to understand you in detail. And again, the rounds I'm telling, it is not fixed that all this round will happen. At the end, I'll be explaining what are those rounds, those can be eliminated as well, okay? So if you have cracked till here, you'll move to the next round, that is HR round. In the HR round, they'll ask you some journal questions, okay? They'll tell you about the joining formalities and the documentation and all those things as well. And there is a misconception that a lot of people think that HR round is a formal round. No guys, in the HR round also, you can get rejected. I know people, those who got rejected in the HR round. Yes, 90% of time, if you are reaching till HR round, most probably 90 or 95%, you are damn sure selected. But if the HR round, if the HR is asking some questions and you are not answering in a proper way, it can be general questions, okay? If you are not answering in the proper way, there also you can get rejected. Chances are there. Now let's talk about which rounds can be eliminated. So in the very first screening round, we have discussed two phases, right? The first phase was telephonic round where the HR will call you and ask some basic questions kind of, okay? Second round can be aptitude reasoning. So the second round can be eliminated as well, okay? Where they are asking aptitude reasoning, it depends upon company to company. There can be directly screening, the HR will call to you and then directly they'll move to the technical round instead of asking aptitude and these questions, okay? In the technical round also, the second phase of technical round can be eliminated, okay? There can be one technical round only and then directly HR round. So in short, in some of the companies, if I have to tell you, there will be first round screening, second round technical, third round HR. But in some of the companies in the screening, first HR can call you, then a, a set of questions you might have to solve, MCQs, aptitude or technical. Then in the technical round, HR or manager will take your interview. Again, they'll ask you a bunch of questions. And again, second technical round can happen. Again, they'll ask you in depth a bunch of questions. Then HR round can happen. They can ask you again general questions and they can tell you joining formalities as well. So I have shared you two scenarios how clinical SaaS programmer get hired by CROs. If you have more questions, you can comment as well. And if you want to talk one-to-one, -one, then you can choose one-to-one -one counseling. You can find the link in the description. And let's meet in the next video. Thank you everyone and bye-bye everyone.